you think I should wear something nicer? No, you look great. I feel a little bit underdressed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the kitchen for another recipe video. So today we've got a special video plan. So we've got Crystal with us. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us, Crystal. You're Appreciate it. We're gonna need you for this one because it's a big <laughs> video. I could not do this one on my own. Uh, so we definitely need Crystal's help. But uh, basically we thought it would be a fun idea with Thanksgiving coming up here in Canada in like a week or so, and then it coming up in the States shortly after that, we thought it'd be fun to do some Thanksgiving inspired meals and recipes for you guys. We know the holidays can be tough as a vegan and if your family eats differently, so we wanted to share some really delicious recipes that you can make for your family or bring to any get togethers you're invited to that are pretty easy, mm -hmm. but super delicious. Yeah, they're actually so good. So you can show your family that like eating vegan, it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be like plain and We'll, we will knock their socks off with some of these dishes, <laughs> I promise you guys. So we had a lot of ideas for these Thanksgiving videos, so we've decided to break it up into three separate videos. So this is kind of like a little mini series. I'm not sure if we've ever done this on the channel before. I don't think before, we've ever done this. But pretty exciting. Uh, so the first video here, we're gonna show you three different sides you can make. So we're gonna show you uh, a stuffing first. We're also gonna show you an awesome little roasted veg dish and then a gravy that I just finished kind of like testing last night. It's so good. Very excited to share it with you guys. And in the second video coming up, which will be out in the next couple of days, we are going to be taste testing some vegan holiday loaves, I guess you yeah. would say, like tofurkey. Gardein has a few uh, little um, tasty bites we can try. <laughs> yeah. And then we found something by Amy's that a lot of people would probably pick up for the holidays. So we wanted to do this, but we're also Canadian, so we only have like three things to choose yeah, from. Yeah, we don't have too many options, but we are gonna try them <laughs> because I do get messages from you guys yeah. on Instagram and stuff, and you're like, Derek, what are the best one of these like holiday loaves? So I don't know, we, we figured like we come up with a fun like scoring system and we like try them out and let you, know, let you guys know what we thought of. So the third video is going to be a dessert video. So that's really exciting to yeah, look forward to. It's gonna be good. So uh, yeah, let's get started with this video though. Um, we're gonna be showing you the stuffing first and we've done a few things to get prepared for making it. So we'll show you guys what we've done everything up to this point and then how to make it from here on out. So the first thing you want to do for the stuffing is dry out some bread. So we chopped up a whole loaf and we dried it out in our oven. A nice little trick to dry the bread out is to prop a wooden spoon uh, in the side of the door of the oven because that allows a little bit of the heat to escape, but it also allows the moisture to escape. So all the ingredient amounts are in the description down below. So we are gonna just start putting all of this in the saute pan and get it going. So in a preheated pan, add some vegan butter. So you guys will know that we don't very often use like oil or butter in our cooking, but we are gonna do it today for these recipes because Thanksgiving is a time to just like really enjoy your food and especially if you're serving it to like, you know, other family members, we wanna make this like really likable <laughs> by everybody. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing with, that's the goal with these recipes is to just make them like really familiar and really delicious for everybody at the table. And next you're gonna wanna add some chopped onion. That is one medium sized onion. And then you're gonna wanna add four stalks of chopped celery. One medium sized apple. And you're gonna wanna saute that down until the onions get translucent. So the onions and everything is sauteing down really nicely. So I am going to now add two cloves of garlic. And I'm going to add two chopped up sausage links. So these are the field roast apple and sage sausage links. Oh my goodness, you guys. They're so good. <laughs> They're delicious and Derek had the idea of putting it in this recipe and I have to agree, I think it's gonna be so good. Now, if you don't want big chunks of sausage like this, you could use veggie ground uh, or something else like that. You could even, you know, give these a little bit of a mash and kind of chop them up like that, which would be really nice. That way, everyone gets some in, in the bite that they take. And the last thing you wanna add is uh, chopped pecans. And this is um, a third of a cup pecans that are chopped. Yummy. So I turned that off and I'm just gonna let that sit there while we season the stale dry bread. <laughs> mm. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna put one tablespoon of sage in there and that is dried sage. We are going to do one teaspoon of thyme. Now this is fresh thyme from our garden, but you can do fresh or dried. So one teaspoon of thyme and this is half a tablespoon of rosemary. 
And then you're gonna want to season this to taste with salt and pepper. So I am going to use, I think, half a teaspoon of salt, that is. Yeah, half a teaspoon of salt. And then a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So you want to take your saute mix and you're gonna just add it into the bowl of bread. And then you're gonna want to mix it around, which is probably gonna be a little difficult, but you know, good things take time. So just be, be a little patient. And while that is kind of mixed, <laughs> you're gonna want to add some veggie broth. So I'm going to do this in increments. So I'm gonna start with half a cup of veggie broth and then add as I need because you just don't want this to be sopping wet because the bread will get so mushy and it just will not be good. So right. half a cup. And you just want to mix that around and make sure that the bread is soaking it up. Should I use my hands? Yeah, I think you should use your hands. Okay. We're all family here. Oh, take off the engagement ring. <laughs> no, that's not even on the right finger. That's uh, what you get on the YouTube budget. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you dry the bread and then you make the bread Babe, right I don't make the rules, okay? <laughs> you just I just make the follow stuffing. them. I just follow them. So I am now going to add another half a cup of veggie stock. Give it another mix. <laughs> bread, bread is just good. Oh, and we, I guess we should say, if you are celiac or if you don't eat gluten, um, I just want to say sorry, because that would be hard. <laughs> but you can use gluten-free bread. Obviously, I haven't tested it with gluten-free bread, no. but I'm th I, I think gluten-free bread has come oh, a long way. Yeah, you could use gluten-free bread. We're using a um, whole grain sourdough, actually, from a local bakery. So that's another thing, too, is you can actually play with different breads. You could put, like, rye bread in this. Mm. You could do, like, a really crusty <laughs> country loaf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, a nice white sourdough. Like, you could have fun. I don't know about you, but, like, when I was younger, I only wanted, like, the stuffing. Like, I didn't care. Like, oh, the, really? the turkey was, like, meh. Like, I just had it because it was, like, you had to have some turkey on your yeah. plate. But literally, like, for me, it was just, like, stuffing, gravy, give me some mashed potatoes. Yeah, I've been, I've been into carbs <laughs> my whole life, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> stuffing for it was kind of a... a mm, I wasn't always sure about it because of the whole turkey thing. Oh, because it, it went up the... I was just kind of yeah. always, like... That was off by weird. that, I was like, eh. So I might add a lit, like a tiny bit more of the veggie broth because you want the bread to be like moist, hmm. but you don't want it to be like sopping wet, but you also don't want it to be like dry. Maybe I would say like half a cup more. Okay. Once it's all mixed and looks something like that, you're gonna wanna put it in a baking dish. So we are going to use this glass baking dish and this amount of stuffing should probably feed about four to six people, but if you have more people coming, double the recipe. I feel like making stuffing is like a very adult thing to do. Like, I, you know right? what I mean? I feel like it's like one of these rite of passages. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, like I'm I'm an adult now. Yeah. So when you have everything in the baking dish, you're gonna wanna cover it with tin foil because you don't want the top to burn because this does actually bake for quite a while in the mm. oven. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> So this is going to go in an oven that is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And we're gonna bake it for about 45 minutes and then we're gonna check on it, take the tin foil off and then crank up the heat a little bit so it browns and mm. gets nice and good on the top. So. Sweet. All right, so the next dish we're gonna show you is a really simple roasted garlic veggies. So I know a lot of you probably already know how to make this. We'll just go through it really, really quickly, but it's definitely like a staple for any yeah. sort of Thanksgiving Christmas dinner. Um, so yeah, let's see what's all in here. <laughs> So we're just gonna keep this really simple with just like three different vegetables here. But if you want, you could get crazy and add a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, like Brussels sprouts would be great in here. Beets would be good as well. Uh, rutabaga, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you want. Uh, but these are what we're using now. So we're actually gonna start with the potatoes. So I'm just gonna start by cutting the tapeno, potatoes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start by cutting the potatoes into nice big chunks. Then you're gonna wanna put the potatoes into a nice large mixing bowl. So since this is a special occasion, we're gonna be using a little bit of extra virgin olive oil here on the veggies. So I'm just gonna start with a, a teaspoon or so. And then since there's gonna be so much flavor in the stuffing and then also in the gravy that we're making, I'm just gonna season this really simply with a little pepper and a pinch of salt. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and add like some rosemary and some thyme to this as well, but I don't want everything tasting the exact same with this meal, so we're gonna have the flavors be a little bit different. Once those are all mixed up, just wanna put it into a baking tray. 
And we're gonna pop this in the oven for 10 minutes. So the reason I put the potatoes in there first is because they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook than the sweet potato. They take a little, about 10 minutes longer to cook, so that's why you put them in there first. It'll just give them a little head start and then everything will finish cooking at the same time. So uh, next I'm just gonna chop up the sweet potato and the carrots. And then just the same thing for these veggies. A little bit of olive oil, mix it up, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. So if you have people in the house that really don't like veggies, you could always add a little bit of maple syrup to this. That sweetens it up really nicely and uh, yeah, is really good. But you know, with the sweet potato in there, I don't think that we need to. So the potatoes have been in there for about 10 minutes. Crystal's just getting them out now and we are going to add the rest of the veggies. They smell good. <laughs> yeah, potatoes can't lose. So that's really all that we have to do with the veggies. So we're just gonna put them back in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. We're gonna put it at the same temperature as the stuffing's cooking at. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than they would if you cooked it at a higher temperature, like 375 or closer to 400. But we just want everything to cook nicely and we don't want anything to burn. So we're just gonna <laughs> keep it at 350, cook it for a little longer. So yeah, it might take around 40 minutes or so for these to cook, but it's uh, yeah, everything should be done at around the same time. So what I'm actually going to do, just to add a little bit more flavor to that, uh, is I'm going to chop up some garlic. These are huge garlic cloves. Like, the, the biggest garlic yeah, cloves I've ever seen. I actually think it's seen. the biggest I've ever seen. Wow. So this is probably like, Anyways, okay. what, six regular yeah. cloves? <laughs> probably, yeah, probably six or seven regular cloves. So we're just gonna, uh, I'm gonna chop this up really small and then I'm going to add it to the um, baking veggies just as they're about like halfway or just over halfway done cooking because you don't want the garlic to burn. If we were to put it in right now, yeah. cook it for 45 minutes, you guys know the garlic would burn and burned garlic just doesn't taste nearly as good as well cooked garlic. It's bitter and uh, yeah, we just don't want that. So what's next? All right, so while that's cooking, we're gonna actually just make the gravy. It's the last thing that we have to do. Uh, so this is actually like a, a mushroom and miso gravy that I'm gonna show you guys. We were recipe testing a bit yesterday and I think we've finally nailed it. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I don't know. It's kind of a little bit different. I think you guys are going to like it. It's obviously not like a traditional gravy that you would, you know, get using like the, the <laughs> oh, drippings God. from like the uh, like the turkey roast or, or just, whatever. Or the package mix or Yeah, or that like package that. mix because gosh, those yeah, ingredients I are know. so bad. If you oh, guys, man. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, made with like, you know, pretty whole foods. It's pretty healthy. Uh, so yeah, let me show you guys everything that's going in here. So the first thing we're going to want to do to make this gravy is to chop up some cremini mushrooms. I'm sure you know, portobellos would work, whatever, but this is what we have. We have cremini mushrooms, and that's what we're using. So you don't need to chop these too carefully, just really roughly chopped, and we're going to need a total of four cups of chopped mushrooms. One, two, three. Look nice. at that, that's like a perfect well, amount. Oh, look at that. But awesome. it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be the perfect amount, like this is, you know, like it's pretty not- Pretty easy recipe. Yeah, it's not baking or anything, like it's just pretty loose. Okay, <laughs> four. Next, we're gonna chop some onion. So in total, you need two cups of chopped onion. Man, my, my <laughs> eyes, I do not do well with onions. I can't even open them. So there's one cup and two cups. So then we're just gonna add the chopped onions and mushrooms to a preheated skillet, the frying pan. And I'm just going to add a tablespoon, actually two tablespoons of veggie broth and one teaspoon of tamari. This is just gonna add some salt and a little of the umami flavor to this dish. Actually, you know what? Let's add two teaspoons of that. I'm feeling a little saucy today. So this has been in the oven for 45 minutes and it's looking pretty good. Look at that, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. So I'm, I took the tin foil off and then now I'm going to just put it in the oven again for about 10 minutes so it can kind of just brown and uh, crisp up on the top. So it's been about 10 minutes, which means the stuffing is done. Oh my goodness, look at that. I definitely pulled it out at the right time because you can see it was just turning a little too brown there, but I'm really excited. It looks so good. Very good. 
So it's been about 30 minutes and these are roasting up really nicely, but we want to add the garlic now. So you want to give it a good mix so the garlic is evenly dispersed on all the veggies. So once the mushrooms and onions get pretty well cooked down, like pretty much to this stage here, they're ready. So you just take them off the heat. So we'll just let the mushrooms and the onions cool for a minute and while they're cooling we'll add some stuff to the blender here. So we've got some miso paste and you're going to want to use two tablespoons of miso paste. And then we're going to use a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so we're just using some thyme from our garden so I just have to kind of take it off the sprigs here. And, oh, I guess I don't have to chop it if it's going into the blender. That's kind of dumb. Okay, so we're using just less than a teaspoon of thyme. So I know it seems like really specific, but we made it yesterday using these ratios and it was really good. I think more thyme than that, I think would be a little bit too strong. And then we're going to use the same amount of rosemary. So just under a teaspoon of rosemary. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. Easily and then a half teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm using two cups of low sodium veggie broth. And then you just wanna add all the cooked mushrooms and onions to the blender cup. So once you've got everything added to the blender cup, all you have to do now is just blend it up. Actually, that's not the last step, <laughs> but next you have to blend it up. I feel like we're in one of those like, will it blend infomercials? Oh my gosh. We're like, will it blend? Well, let's find out. <laughs> so one of the nice things about this gravy is you don't have to thicken it. It's already thickened and the mushrooms do a really good job at thickening it. But uh, a lot of them you'll find that you have to add like cornstarch to right. or like arrowroot mm. powder or something. You have to add it at the right time. So this is just like super easy and yeah, it's all gravy like. So I mean, it's all done. You could eat it like this and I'm sure it tastes good. Actually, make sure. <laughs> Let's do a little taste test. You better taste it first because I got in trouble for not letting ladies taste first one time. Ooh, yeah. Good? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it's really like, good. Yeah, like you said, it's not like a traditional gravy, no. but it's one of those gravies where you would have it and you're like, ooh, I, like, give me more of that. I like, want some more. I yeah. want more of it's, that. It's like all the flavors of Thanksgiving, yeah. like, <laughs> in a gravy. Yeah. So, um, what I like to do now is to just bring it up to a boil and just, like, simmer it on low for, you know, 10 minutes at the minimum and it really brings all the flavors together and just yeah, it makes it so, so good. So yeah, if you can saute or simmer it for like 20 minutes, that would be even better. So yeah, into a little pot. It does not look as aesthetic as I thought it was going to. <laughs> Man, I feel like such an adult. We got gravy, we've got stuffing, we've got veggies. So the best part is the taste test. So look at that. We have nice. our veggies and you can you can try first. Okay. I will give you the honor. I'm excited about the stuffing. That's why I keep showing everyone. <laughs> I'm like stuffing stuff. All right, I'll try the veggies first. Yeah, All right. super good. But yeah, oh, the potatoes are so perfect. Try one of the potatoes. Holy okay. smokes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Those potatoes. Yeah, look how nicely the potatoes cooked up. So these were, what, Yukon Gold potatoes that we used? I believe so, yeah. They were like the small mm. little yellow ones. Oh man, they're so good. How, like, how are we gonna incorporate the gravy into this? Like, are we just gonna try? Mm. Really nice. Wow, that is super good. Really good. Mm. Wow, yeah. Yeah, everything's Yo, Yeah, this gravy's so fire and like, so simple, hey, to make. Like Pretty simple, yeah. Definitely gonna be making this one again. <laughs> So let's move on to the stuffing. Oh gosh, let's move on to the stuffing. Just bread. Oh man. Let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice. So good. The apple, I don't know if you got a piece, but I got a piece of apple and it's so nice and sweet in there. I'm gonna get some of that sausage though. Where is that? All right, I'm gonna get like the ultimate bite here. Like a little bit of pecan, a little bit of apple, mm -hmm. a little bit of sausage. It's good. Wow. The sausage in that is good because it has that sage flavor. Mm. Yeah. Man, is this all we're gonna have for dinner? Like, I don't really feel like cooking anything else. We're just gonna have bread. 
potatoes, <laughs> yeah. and gravy. <laughs> carbs, <laughs> carbs on carbs. Carb life. So good. So I think that's probably it for this video. We have cooked everything. We have tasted everything. It's all amazing. So uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you got something out of it. Definitely tag us on Instagram if you guys do make these at Simnet Nutrition because we love seeing your creations. These are just three very simple sides that you can bring to any family dinner if you're looking to make a main dish check out our lentil loaf. Derek has a great lentil loaf recipe in our Christmas video. Yep, super fun video as well. There's a couple others, another side in there and a dessert as well if you guys wanna check that out. But uh, yeah, that's it for us. We're gonna go sit down and eat all these carbs and I uh, hope you guys have a good evening. And comment down below, let us know what you thought of the video. It always helps us subscribe so you can see more and uh, we'll be back in a few days with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya. All right, I'm definitely just gonna take this. <laughs> I love how you just take all the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, we'll get the, we'll cut that out. Shut up. Oh, whatever.